and head straight off to Kingston. Or so I thought. The train, um... Yo, we are saying it's your boy, Jack Boy here. And today is the first of a new series that I just thought about. Not really, I'd say, to be honest, I think it's more something that I did before for once, and then I just left it alone after that. And that is story time. That's right, guys. I had a little thought uh, over the past couple of days, and I thought, hey, why not do a bit of story time videos? Because I have a lot of interesting stories with that, that you guys may like, actually, that are pretty interesting in uh, my case, to be honest. So that's what I'm doing right now. And yeah, guys. If you do end up enjoying this and you want more of this, then hit the like button below. Let's try and get let's try and get 10 likes. 10 likes, guys, and I'll do more of this, of course. So for my first episode of this Java story time series, of course, it will be the time that I was almost late to my big GCSE exam last year. So I pretty much will start at the start of the day. So I pretty much I get up, I get up about say half past seven. So I'm really, really late right now. And immediately I thought, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late because my exam, remember, was at nine o'clock and I had to be there at nine o'clock. If I wasn't there, then I would miss out and I wouldn't get that shot of doing my English, of course. So immediately, I rush in the shower, I do all my hair stuff, I put all my face stuff and all that type of stuff like that. Put on any clothes that I could find nearest to me. Quickly add something to drink real quick. Sorted out my books or anything that I needed to take for that exam. And literally immediately rushed out and uh, got on the bus straight to the College, of course. However, as soon as I got to Worcester Park, oh my god, I tell you this a lot of times. Worcester Park is so bad, particularly in the morning. I mean, it is so horrible to deal with. I have to deal with this every single day, and it is so bad. Like, if you've been around Worcester Park around between seven ish to nine, it is horror. It is a horror show. It is so bad. So, basically, I get there and I realize I'm going to be late. I immediately I rush off the bus straight for the nearest train station and get on the train and head straight to the college. Now bear in mind guys, I had this Oyster card thing where I could travel on the bus for free and not only that, I got like pretty much like a 70 to 80% discount on all train journeys. So pretty much I was all good, you know, I had the money and all that to get there and get back of course. And the train was quite packed, I'm not gonna lie usually, it, it always is to be fair, uh, every time I go to the train around you know, 7 to 9, it usually is really bad because everyone's going to work you know everyone's going to college or school whatever so usually it is at its worst so anyhow i'm on the train right now i get off make my one and only train change to kingston and head straight off to kingston or so i thought because basically the train uh it terminated <laughs> It terminated with one or two stops to go and at the time it was about 20 past 8 to about half past 8 so I had about 20 to 30 minutes until my English exam got going and keep in mind guys I was at New Morden and New Morden, New Morden to Kingston is probably about say 10 to 20 minutes on the bus but given the extent of the traffic and given the bad weather by the way I forgot to mention it to you guys it was really shit the weather was so shit like it was pouring 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 down it was so bad and usually when that happens it usually takes I would say double or actually triple the time that it would usually take on a bus to be honest so with about 30 minutes to go and me panicking like a fucking ape I immediately called my parents tell them what's up they were mad shit they were like mad fucking shit crazy like oh, you stupid boy I'm so mad at you get a fucking college you fucking pussy they didn't exactly say that but they said it along the those lines. So my last resort, or my only resort, thankfully, and thank God I praised them 110% because if that didn't happen, my God, I would have missed my exam and I would have been screwed. Basically, I already knew I had Uber on my phone. So real quick, I basically get on my phone, order an Uber, and about 10 minutes later, and only with 20 minutes to go until my exam, there it is, the Uber. The Uber arrives, I get in the back, my umbrella and bag, 
By the way, I was carrying an umbrella as well, I forgot to mention too. The guy I forgot to mention was really, really nice. Basically rocked up and said, James. So I immediately walk over, say, that's me, of course. And he's like, all right, cool. And then I get in the car and all that shit and it's all good. So I tell him where I need to go, which was obviously the college, of course. And you know, during the ride, he's been very nice. You know, he asked me what's going on, you know, why, you know, I need to go to the college and shit. And I tell him, look, I'm going to exam my exams in like 20 to 15 minutes and I need to write ASAP so I don't miss my exam. And he's all chill, he's all cool with it and he got on really well. We talked a lot about how I do judo and how his son, you know, does martial arts as well. He also talked about how bad the weather was and how bad the traffic was going up to Kingston. There's only about five minutes left and thankfully we were almost there to be honest. Thank the Lord. I mean, dude, he, he was a god. He was a saving god. I mean, it was fucking expensive and by the way, I'm never doing this type of shit again. Like, I'm never Ubering, like, for, like, whatever, to be honest. Like, if I'm, if I'm gonna have this shit again, it's gonna be in bad weather. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to leave around half six to seven o'clock, because I'm not risking a damn die of this motherfucking traffic. I mean, it is so shit. And thankfully, I make it to the college just with a couple of minutes to spare. I grab my umbrella, I grab my bag, I rush in there, get in there. Thankfully, I do make it with a nick of time of course and yeah basically I sit down take the exam and the exam I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit tricky to be honest there are one or two questions that I found a little bit tricky to be honest because basically at the time I was doing higher and before I was doing foundation yeah, basically if you do not know in uh, how our education system works especially here in the UK of course well basically this was last year this year they changed it but I'll talk about the, the old one first basically there were two levels that you could take depending on your skill level on what exam you were gonna take and those two range from foundation which is the lower sort of like it ranges up from say an F to a U whatever to A or C and as for the higher which is like the top tier you know people who are really good at English that ranges from a U all the way to an A star but now for this year's exam it's a little bit different now they're introducing this little number system where say if you get like a 5 or 6 whatever that marks to a C and that means you pass anything lower than that then you fail of course and it's not like it's just two levels of course it's just one level one entire level that we all have to take I have to take it as well because I didn't pass <laughs> sorry to spoil it but I didn't pass I really uh, found out in August I didn't pass and I was a bit of a shame so basically I'm taking it this year and it fucking sucks but hopefully if I get it this year then I can bring to you guys some really interesting and cool content and really progress on with my life man I want to progress my life I want to do big things for you guys I want to do big things for myself as well too in the hopes that I can have a really good an awesome life in the end. So yeah, the exam finishes and after that, I go straight to the gym, do my workouts, finish that off, go home and revise my maths because I have one more maths exam two days after. So I had to really revise hard for that final exam so that afterwards, in the next three months, I could just chill, relax, make YouTube content for you guys. Well, kind of. I, I kind of like was fucking about and, you know, didn't do any YouTube work, which I'm sorry for you guys. I do apologize. Like, that was a shitty move. I just was really, I just didn't feel motivated, like honestly, I was just fucking about and I just, I don't know, I was just, I just didn't have no motivation to give you guys some content, so I, I really, with that I apologise. And that is the interesting story of how I almost late to my English exam. And yeah, sorry if this is very short to be honest, um, this might end up being a long video, I don't know, but if this is short, I really do apologise. That was all of what I can express to you guys from my point of view. If you do want more, hit the like button, let's go. 10 like and I'll do more of this of course. If you're new around here hit the subscribe button down below with the notification as well so you don't forget when my next video is out and finally comment down below on anything you want whether you want to leave suggestions, comments, whatever, uh, video ideas, whatever it is comment down below let me know and yeah guys that is it guys hope you guys enjoyed it's your boy your boy take it easy I'm out peace